So just before we get into this video, over on Patreon, I'm currently on Lost Season 2, Episode 6. It's the full uncut reaction, so you get my reaction to the entire episode. And I also do two episodes a week over there. So if that is something you're interested in, the link to my Patreon will be down below in the description. But as for now, I hope you enjoy the video. Oh no. What are you doing? Oh, he's going in on him. Now pull yourself together, son. I don't think this is going to work, you know. Charlie, you were so close, bro. Black and white. There's a lot of, like, symbolism to do with black and white constantly mentioned in this show. Maybe they were shipwrecked. They probably found this place and knew they could survive here. Yeah, well, they, they didn't survive, though, did they, mate? What her father got him to work as, as obviously changed him as a person. It's like a reminder of... Obviously, a reminder of when they first met, and it's that's probably like a that's probably the deciding factor for her to actually stay. Okay, so welcome back to more Lost Reactions. We're on season one, episode seven today. Really enjoyed the last two episodes, specifically last episode with uh, Jin and Sun. I really enjoyed. I think they're two characters that I didn't really expect to explore this early on. Uh, they were sort of keeping them so separate from everyone. Obviously, because that's what uh, Gene wanted to do, right? That was his goal, was to just survive by himself um, and make sure no one bothers him, pretty much. So that's why he felt so separate. I thought, okay, maybe they're going to go into him a bit more. Then we're going to get like a, an episode less dedicated to them. I thought we'd, I thought we'd like, delve into characters like um, Charlie uh, first, or I don't know Sawyer or something like that, because they've been more pushed to the forefront. But we're still going to learn about them, I'm assuming. Uh, we've got 22 episodes this season, so we're going to learn about every single character in some way. I'm looking really forward, as I said, to the Charlie episode, whenever that is, and the Sawyer one. Even the Saeed one is going to be very interesting. Saeed's probably... Uh, my brother was asking me this other day, like, who's my favourite character at the minute? And I think it's hard to choose. I enjoy every single one of these characters, but all in different ways, and all for different reasons. So it's, it's very hard to choose. I really like Sawyer, but I really like Charlie as well. I feel like he's funny, I feel like he's the comic relief of the group in a way but he's also very interesting i really like Locke. he's so mysterious there's so much to him and so much that i'm very interested to learn about i feel like this is just i feel like we haven't even scratched the surface with his character um his his character in particular more so than the others and i also really like as i said saeed is a really good character so it's hard to choose honestly i don't think i have a favorite at the minute i think i love different aspects of each character in, in different ways and i feel like it's Probably gonna set that for a while, to be honest with you. So as always with this show, I do have my notes. I'm not gonna go over go over them in in every uh, in every episode at the beginning because the intros will be like 20 minutes long. As each episode goes on, it will just add and add and add to the uh, to the intro. So I'll just keep them on my notes and um, yeah, use them for my reference. But yeah, I do have things noted that I think may be significant. Think that I may forget. You know, we'll have to wait and see. But I'm looking forward to as always in this episode. Uh, who we're going to focus on and who we're going to be learning a bit about. I feel like no matter what character it is, it's going to be interesting. So with that being said, let's stop talking here and get right into the episode. So this is Lost Season 1, Episode 7. Let's jump right into it. Charlie, how about you and I go for a walk? He's really trying hard to distract himself from uh, from using, isn't he? Lock, I think I'm going to stay in today. Come on. Fresh air will do you good. Lock always knows best. Take better pictures than that. It's a bit awkward, isn't it? We can Signal find. has been running on a loop for 16 years, Kate. The woman that left it, she wasn't rescued. What makes you think it's going to be any different for us? Mm, Jackie's just being realistic. We can fix this place up real good. Might even find some way to share it with me. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> He's such a wind-up. Lock. Is that you? I don't think Lock's growling, mate. Of course it's not Lock. What is that? That is some disturbing ass noise, man. Right after that, I had relations with another girl. Straight after that, I watched while they had relations with each other. Blimey, Charlie. There's one place I didn't think Charlie would end up going. It would be like in church and stuff like that. Jeez. We've just been signed a recording contract. You're going to be a rock god. Oh, man, this is really interesting. I'm so glad we're getting Charlie this episode. Of course, Locke had Sank set up. Now give me my bloody drugs. Oh, Lord. This ain't going to be good, is it? We're starting to see a different side of Charlie now. He's sort of been the comedian uh, throughout a lot of the episodes so far. 
it's gonna be more of a serious episode dedicated to him or we see a more serious side to him oh you feeling sorry for me i don't feel sorry for you i pity you he just doesn't take anything seriously does he that's why i'm so interested to learn about his backstory because i just can't really tell what he was like before this Of course. Of course. Just promise me one thing. If things get too crazy, no matter what, if I say we're done, you walk away. Well, that clearly doesn't happen. I was gonna... Wear? I knew he was gonna comment on what she's wearing. Oh, yeah. Bro, she ain't, she ain't taking any more of your shit. She's like, no. Right. You don't know me! I'm a bloody rock god! <laughs> what? He's in there, jeez. He's... How are you getting him out? What the hell caused that? The tail section broke up and we were still in the air. Our section cartwheels with the jungle, and yet we escaped with nothing but a few scrapes. Yeah, that's literally what I was saying. No one's that lucky. Yeah, come on. 48 survivors as well. Shannon, you have to be ready to do something really important, okay? You need to be ready to turn that antenna on over there. Oh, no. Switch is where now? Did you hear a word I said? No, she... All right, that's a flop. There we go. That's gonna flop. Brilliant. I know which way they went. Yeah, but I'll tell her. You just keep doing whatever it is you do around here. Wow. Uh, notice how like it's just constantly people for, like pushing him away or just being like, you know, treating him like he's nothing. I, I know exactly where this is going. He's just gonna be forgotten, isn't he? And then it parallels like what's happening on the island at the minute. That's why he's constantly looking for attention. Chill, baby brother. Man, this is some great development for the characters in this show. It's so good. I feel really bad for Charlie. I just came to tell you something. What makes you think I'm interested in anything you have to say? I just came to tell you you were right about me. Wait, we didn't tell her. I mean, why does Kate have to know? Is it is it really that serious? Why does Kate have to know of all people? I know they're close, but not that close. What do you suppose is in the cocoon, Charlie? I don't know. A, a, a butterfly, I guess? No, it's much more beautiful than that. That's a moth cocoon. It's ironic. Butterflies get all the attention, but moths, they spin silk. They're stronger. Much like Charlie. He's the moth amongst the butterflies. Now, this is the second time you've asked me for your drugs back. Ask me again, and it's yours. I feel like if Locke was to, like... <laughs> He could convince anyone of absolutely anything. I could listen to him talk all day. Genuinely, I could listen to that like, conversation. With him. I could listen to a whole episode of him just talking. Can't believe how wrong I was about his character at first. So wrong. Jack, can you hear me, Jack? Come on, dude, answer me. What, is he unconscious? He's got to be, right? Can I get you out of there, okay? <laughs> how the hell are you going to do that? Oh, this is going to be... Could put me on edge. Five o'clock. Watch for my flare. Then it's your turn. This is gonna flop because of um because of Boone leaving it to his sister. You know that. One of us is gonna have to go in and unpin him. She's got a husband. He's got a sister. I'm alone here. Oh bless him. Go on, Charlie. Come on, Charlie, son. You got this. That is a tight ass gap. Jeez. Face it. If you're not in this band, what the bloody hell use are you? I'll swing him. I would swing him. It, it all makes sense now, it? You see why he always wants attention, why he's constantly putting himself out there throughout the past six episodes we've been watching. It explains... This explains all of that. I knew it would, just further proof. I'm not going to judge characters until I know a bit more about them. Charlie! Charlie, move! Oh, move where? There's hardly any room. My shoulder's dislocated. What? You're going to have to pop it back in. Oh no, I hate this. What do I what do I do? She could do this, Charlie. Okay, okay, okay. The noise is gonna make me cringe. Now <laughs> Oh man. What are you doing here? I can't pay his big brother a visit once in a while. Of course you can. What didn't you call you lunatic? What are you doing in Sydney? Oh right, so this is well after. First gigs in Los Angeles. LA, Liam. Chance to get back on a label. He's got a family now and all that. You don't care about that. They won't book Drive Shaft without you. So I'm asking, as a brother, the way you ask me. 
Yeah, look, they've switched positions at this point. You said you'd you get help, help, man. I lost your sodding You're number, still okay? a junkie. When you did this to me. It was about the music. You never looked out for me. I have a plane to catch. That's so interesting how he, how they completely switch roles. Reminds me of confession. There's a little claustrophobic booth. I wouldn't have taken you for a religious man. So as you I said. A moth. A what? There's a, there's a bloody moth in here. Oh, fitting in perfectly to what Locke was saying earlier. This is sick. Is this going to lead them out? No way is the moth going to be the reason they survive. It's like what Locke said, isn't it? If you'd let it go at that moment, this wouldn't have happened. Therefore, they probably would have died. There's light. What? I can see light. That is sick. That is sick. The moth was the reason they survived. Oh, ow. Well, Charlie found a way out. Dude, you rock. Oh. I love Charlie. He's such a good character, man. <laughs> was that actually a moth or was it a hallucination? Was it a hallucination? They mentioned hallucinations before that. It's strange for a moth to be. I don't know. I don't know. All right, everyone. Now it's your turn. You're such idiots. Come on. One more. Yeah, Sawyer. Yes! Where are you? No, don't in there. Don't in there. It's gonna win, isn't it? What was that? Who was that? Oh, just as he saw the signal, just as he figured it out as well. Dude, you... I think I'm gonna stretch my legs. Maybe he'll ask for the drugs to just dash them away. Be back there by now and if his plan worked, then... then we're one step closer to getting off this island. Show us what happened to Saeed, man. I'm... I want to see, I want to see what that was about. Who was that? Give them to me. This is the third time. Are you sure you really want to? I've made my choice. Is he going to use it though? I have a feeling he's just going to dash them away. To be honest with you. Put him in a fire maybe. Come on Charlie, yes. Yes, I knew it, I knew it. Huh? And there's the moth again. It's free. What episode, bro? What an absolute banger. That was so good. Uh, love it. Love it. And we've got the mystery of, of, of the whole Saeed situation now, which I'm very curious about. It's not one of our group. I, I, I'm confident you say it's not one of our group, obviously. Why would they do that for a start? Number two, I can't think of anyone that's gone off on their own. It's not Sawyer, the only person who sort of had a problem with Saeed in the past, because he set off the other signal. Oh, man. Just as he was looking at the transceiver as well, that is a piss take. So that was my reaction to Lost Season 1, Episode 7. As I said, a really good episode with some fantastic character, de character development yet again. This time with Charlie, a character that I've been wanting to see more for a while now. Um, this episode sort of explains everything about him, really. It explains why he's always looking for attention the past six episodes we've watched. It explains why he's always so... Why he takes everything so personally when people are like, no, we don't need you at the minute. You know, not everyone means it in that way. Some people obviously do mean to be dicks, but not everyone means it in a way when Jack's like, look, we don't, we don't need you at the minute. Take care of yourself. It explains why he takes that so personally because that's literally, it, it puts him back in that scenario again where he was told that he's nothing um, in that band and that band was his life. You know what I mean? It was all about the music and stuff like that. I love how he was, at the beginning of the episode, he is thinking about quitting the band, you know, he's going to confess his sins and stuff like that, he's clean, obviously, he's not even into drugs at that point, but his brother comes along, who apparently that at that time I think is using, and, you know, just wants to drag Charlie back into the band, but by the end of the episode, it's the complete opposite, like, his brother's living his best life, clean, by the looks of things, he's got a family and stuff like that, but Charlie... Um, who's on drugs, he's, like, not looking after himself at all. He's coming to ask his brother the exact same thing that his brother asked him. I love that. I love that switch around there. As always, I love the conversations with Locke as well. They're always very interesting. I said in this episode, I could literally have... I'm not even joking when I say this. There could literally be an episode where it's just full of Locke speaking, giving people advice, and I'd be heavily into it. Like, it, I could listen to the guy talk forever. He's so... He's such an interesting character in what he says, and I'm always heavily invested in what he's got to say because he's the most mysterious character. You have all the stuff of him seeing the, the into the eye of the island and all that. 
you, you can't help but be heavily invested whenever he's on screen. So whenever he's telling stories or trying to make some sort of comparison or some sort of metaphor, you, you're always listening. And the metaphor in this about like the the butterfly and the, the moth, um, essentially saying that in multiple different scenarios, everyone else is like the butterfly, but Charlie's always the moth. I guess in terms of the band, that was the case as well because he was the one who wrote all the music. He was the reason uh, Drive Shaft was essentially a thing but he wasn't the one getting all the attention other people were so they were sort of the butterflies you know the rest of his uh, his brother and stuff like that were the butterflies i guess and he was the moth and it's it applies to the island as well i guess how everyone else gets the attention he's always pushed to the side yet he's the one who helps the most in a lot of situations like he was the one to point out that woman drowning for example uh, a few episodes ago in this episode he's the one who saved jack like it so i guess it, it applies to the island as well but the one question i got is was that a hallucination when you were seeing that moth in the cave or was that actually it was um was there actually a moth in that cave or not i guess it doesn't really matter either way to be honest with you because that's done with now so i'm gonna assume it wasn't a, it wasn't a hallucination it was literally just to make the conversation about that you had with lock and all that uh come full circle basically but yeah that was fantastic character development yet again as if I expected anything less. And it's what I look forward to going into all these episodes. Like next episode, you know you're going to get the exact same quality about a different character. Um, and whoever that is, I don't give a shit. I'm, I'm looking forward to. So the big thing, or one of the big things that happened in this episode was the Saeed thing. Got whacked around the head with a baseball bat. Now, who could that be? Um, at the minute, we have no reason to believe it's anyone from our camp. I've been thinking back to anyone who's gone off on their own. No one's gone off on their own. So I, it's someone on the island. Someone else is on the island. But there's a lot of questions here. Why would they hit Saeed? Um, why was it done at that exact moment? How do they know that Saeed's there? Like, I, I don't know. These are questions that I'm hoping will be answered next episode. Maybe next episode will actually be about Saeed and we'll see what's happening with him, but then also cut back to what he was doing prior to this. Uh, I think that'll be, that'll be pretty cool. But yeah, I have no predictions on who that could be, what that could be. Could it be someone trying to stop them from figuring out where this... Uh, where this transmission's coming from no idea we're gonna have to wait and see but yeah that was my reaction to lost season one episode seven i hope you enjoyed this video and as always cheers for watching